I just found a perfect tube accidentally. This is like, I think I'm gonna cry. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is very likely that at some point downstairs, which is a tanning shop, is gonna blast some music and you might be able to hear it because I've got a external mic plugged in. If you can, I do apologise for that. But today, I have a interesting, maybe interesting video. I have prepared for Google Picks My Makeup a video and to be fair, Google has picked out products that, yeah, just one of the products that I had to buy was something that I've already previously tried. So Google has actually picked a lot of stuff that I've never tried before. So if you want to have a look of what I can create with Google Picks My Makeup, make sure you subscribe. But today is going to be a haul including all of those products. So what I've done was type into Google best affordable foundation, best affordable powder, best affordable concealer, you get the gist. These are the products that Google has picked out for me. The foundation and the powder I had to buy off of uh, Beauty Bay. Google has suggested that Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 was the best affordable foundation. I have never tried this before and I'm really excited to try it because I did want to try it for a very long time. People that I admire and watch on YouTube just Tati, uh, Coco Sheep Blog, aka Steph, uh, just to name a few. Just love this foundation. So I'm very excited to try this. If you want to know how it wears and stuff, that'll be next video. So subscribe. I'm going to say subscribe a lot in this video. And the best uh, affordable powder that it suggested, but I suggested. The best affordable powder that Google has suggested was. Uh, RCMA no colour powder. The two products were £26. For the whole face of makeup that I had to buy for the for this challenge, I have paid £61. Neither of those included shipping because I didn't I, I got the shipping for free, both on Beauty Bay and Superdrug. So I got my foundation, I got my powder for concealer, uh, Google has suggested that Conceal and Define, which is, I do like, I do like this concealer, was the best. So I bought that and I bought that on Superdrug. To be fair, the rest of the products that I bought were from Superdrug. If you're interested in the shades, um, the Milani I got in double zero B because I believe that was the very fair but either neutral i think it was neutral or no it couldn't have been on it's the neutral one there there is double zero a and i think that's pink undertoned i'm definitely not pink pink undertoned so i thought i'll better off just buy a neutral one hopefully this will match me and the concealer is 2c no c2 i've had this before I like it, it matched me pretty well, it usually highlights my uh, under eye really nicely. Okay, so we've got powder, we've got foundation. Next, I wanted the best affordable contour slash bronzer. I'm not that much of a contour person, I'm more of a bronzer and adding that dimension with a bronzer. By the way, if I look a mess, it's because I'm back from work and I've had this foundation on for good eight hours or maybe even nine. This is the Jouer. I am a bit shiny, um, everything's a little bit, yeah. Uh, so ignore that. Google has picked out for me Nip and Fab Bronzer Palette. Did swatch it in the store before when I first saw it in um, Superdrug and I haven't swatched this one and it looked really nice. It does feel really, really good. And I think it's 
gonna be really nice yeah this was quite uh, I'll, I'll put all of the prices I think this was on offer uh, I'll put all the prices down below I do wear blush and the blush that Google has recommended is by Revolution um, it suggested a palette I didn't even uh, put a palette I typed in uh, best affordable blush and this is what came up these aren't my colors all that much probably the two bottom ones and maybe these two these uh, darker ones are a little I'm, I'm quite intimidated by those but I might try them out in my next video so if you want to see that please subscribe yes like an informational imagine if I had merch mmm the best highlighter according to Google is there's a lot of um, makeup revolution here I've got the blush palette I have the concealer I now have the um, highlighter and why the hell does this kind of make me think of vaginas I don't know I'm scared though I'm really scared this is gonna be like super pale on me and it's gonna show up on my face uh, wet once I do the challenge but we'll have to see this is in uh, golden lights and this is the exact out of me uh, these are the all of this is an exact representation even the color scheme that Google has suggested I went with it uh, so um, golden lights is the highlighter that Google has suggested I mean I got this for free but I might as well tell you about it um, this was a free gift revolution shrub lighting highlighter palette looks like this it's got three colors in there Woo! that looks cool there's like a, a green reflecting one what's this one non-existent and the third one it's slightly pink to be fair out of the three even though I'm not gonna wear it is the first one which is with uh, that is the first one which reflects green it was a free gift so you know they offered so I took it brows for brows Google has actually suggested a pomade from revolution but they didn't have it on their website uh, and I couldn't find it on Superdrug. So what I went for is Revolution Pro Pomade and I got the shade Taupe. It, it's just a pomade. We'll see how it wears. Quite excited to use it. Uh, quite excited to try the colour because in Ilo I'm used to the shade Blonde and this one is Taupe so it could be a little bit darker than I'm used to. Which again I'm still quite excited I'm, I'm 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 excited for experimentation you know eyeshadows I'm super excited to try this because and I'm <sighs> I can't even put my words together that's how excited I am the shadows that Google has picked out for me a perfect in the sense that I really enjoy those shades I've actually seen that palette before and I had it in my cart trolley whatever you want to call it I've had it in there multiple times and I've never bought it and this was just an excuse to buy it and it is the revolution palette in new as in n-e-w trolls 2 and this is the reloaded palette or reloaded palette neutrals 2 anyway it's just a bunch of red tones pinks, oranges, browns, love it. To be fair I didn't even have to buy the blush palette because I could probably use some of these as blushes or other way around but I mean makeup. The mascara that Google has suggested was a massive surprise because A I've never seen it before B I expected something like L'Oreal Lash Paradise to be the the best the most affordable one to appear or I expected something like Maybelline False Falsies I think mascara 
or something like that. Tanya Burr likes a Maybelline one. But you know, I'm like, I expected brands that were kind of in a way famous for their mascaras and Nip and Fab is, well, at least to me, it's very, very new of Nip and Fab to come out with makeup. I think their makeup isn't on the market, hasn't been on the market for very long. So for Google to pick Nip and Fab mascara as the best affordable mascara, I haven't seen the wand yet. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'll take that back. That wand looks very, very promising. I'm very excited. Another gift, some jewels. And last, by no means least, a lipstick. And again, I think Google has actually like somehow tracked what I looked at. I think it may have remembered my history because I have definitely, again, added this lipstick into my trolley multiple times and just never bought it. This is uh, Makeup Revolution again. I mean, I do agree, Makeup Revolution is an amazing brand. Brang. Makeup Revolution is an amazing brand for affordable makeup. And this lipstick is called Wishful. I mean, it looks quite cheap, but dang, that color, that color. I mean, that color. I want, ooh. Hold on, do we have a dupe? Do we have a dupe? No freaking way. Oh my God. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you seeing this? No way. There's a difference in formula. The Makeup Revolution lipstick is uh, matte, but it's a very comfortable, satin kind of matte and this is satin this is jennifer lopez inglot collaboration and this lipstick is called either dulce or dolce depending on how you want to pronounce it d-o-l-c-e sorry i got it wow this was so this was not planned by the way um oh my god Right, do I, do I have a, like a receipt or something? No freaking way this has happened. This is three pounds. This was 15. And they are identical. I can't. I just found a perfect tube accidentally. This is like, I think I'm gonna cry. If you wanted to know, Makeup Revolution's lipstick in Wishful is an exact dupe of Jennifer Lopez Sash Inglot lipstick in the shade of Dolce. Call me a freaking dupe master. Yeah, you can you can subscribe down below. I mean, maybe that will happen again. Hopefully, I mean, why not? I, I this is such a good day. I would like to thank my mom. I would like to thank my dad. Uh, I would like to thank Jesus for believing in me and putting both of these lipsticks in my life. And yeah, I'm very happy. And I'm extremely excited to film Google Picks My Makeup look. So if you want to see that, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. <laughs>